Welcome to the Blind Android Users channel. This is your source for everything Android tutorials and demos, all from a blindness perspective. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. In our spotlight section this week, our friend John Dyer returns with a demonstration of the just released Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. And what a powerhouse of a phone it is. Hello everyone, this is John, and I'm here to do an unboxing of the Galaxy S22 Ultra. I just got it today, it's Wednesday the 23rd, so I got it a little bit early, if you go by the official release date, although people have been getting theirs for a few days now, so, but I'm glad to have mine. So I got it right here. I'm going to go ahead and start unboxing it. So this is your typical box with tape. It's a pretty small box for such a big phone. You know what that means. Not going to be much in here. All right. So I'm going to open it up. Set the top aside. I'm just going to go right to the phone. Okay. Wow. I like it. So, it was face down, or it was face up, screen up, when I opened the box. And it's got a plastic on the back. I don't know that it has anything on the front. Well, actually, yeah, it, does. it has a screen protector on the front. I'm going to leave that on for now. Take the one off the back. Well, okay, so first thing that's pretty noticeable on the back is that it's completely flat. There's no camera bump. However, the camera's uh, protrude from it. So it's like each camera is their own camera bump. Uh, the three cameras on the left seem to be about the same size. The two to the right of that, I guess one's only one of them is technically a camera. The other is a uh, time of flight sensor or actually no, I think this year it's a laser autofocus. So yeah, there's a laser, laser autofocus there's the wide camera, the ultra wide camera, and two telephoto lenses. One is 3x, one is 10x. All right, so well, I'm gonna go ahead and take the screen protector off too. Set that aside. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be any Thing on the sides that I need to peel off. I don't want to pick at it. Um, so the first thing I'm noticing is that the top and the bottom of it are completely flat. Like I could, I don't know if I should try or not, but I could probably stand it up. Okay, maybe not, but <laughs> almost it's pretty flat. Um, yeah, and along the top is just as far as I could tell, just the one hole for the microphone. Along the left side seems to be nothing, just completely smooth. The right side is the um, volume keys at the top, and then the power underneath that. Uh, actually, I so I'm I can tell there is some little plastic that you need to peel off the sides, but I'm gonna leave it on for now. I'll deal with that later. And across the bottom, there seems to be an S Pen to the very left. It's a, a little bump sticking out, so you can feel it. And I don't know if you can hear that or not, but when you press it in, it ejects. This is a this is the first S Pen 
phone that I've ever had, so this is going to be an experience. I'm just going to put that back in. To the right of that is the speaker, then the USB-C port, then what I think is the, yeah, it's got to be the SIM tray there. And I guess the mic, there's, a, there's probably a microphone down here. It must be next to the speaker. All right, let's see what else is in here. We know it's probably just a cable and a SIM injection tool. So I'll take the SIM injection tool. I'm gonna need that. And actually, I'm gonna need the cable to, to, to set up. Alright, so yep, some injection tool and the cable. That's basically it. So, just a couple more comments on the phone. It's got a nice matte feel to it. It doesn't feel as glossy as what I'm used to with the Samsung phones. Um, so, I do like the feeling of it. it Curves nicely around the edges, and like I said, the top and the bottom are flat. Um, it's not as big as I was expecting it to feel like. Um, it's probably pretty close to the size of the Pixel 6 Pro. Might be a, just a little bit bigger. I don't have one to compare, but just by holding it, it feels about the same size. All right, so... I guess I'm going to go ahead and turn it on now. Holding it down. There is a vibration for those who are wondering. Also, I went with the white version and I got it in 512 gigabytes of storage, which also comes with 12 gigabytes of memory. So it's booting up now. I'm just going to do the Samsung shortcut. So I'm just gonna press volume up and the side key. Press both side and volume up keys. And then I press talk it again. On. So talk back's on. Welcome to talk back. All right, so. Allow TalkBack to make and manage phone calls. TalkBack is Allow up and running. Button. Double tap to activate. It's asking for permissions. Samsung Setup Wizard. Welcome. Okay, so I finished setting up the phone. Um, I didn't want to bore you with all of that, so I just paused the recording. But I do have a few comments. So first thing I did was I put my SIM card in. Um, the SIM tray is on the bottom. And it's to the bot it's to the right side of the bottom edge. And um, the hole for the SIM ejection tool is to the left side of the SIM tray. So it's just a little bit to the right of the USB-C port where you're gonna be putting the uh, SIM ejection tool. I was a little nervous at first. <laughs> it seems like that's where a microphone should be, but um, it, it wasn't. It was the uh, eject ejection uh, hole for the SIM card. And when I put the SIM card in, it goes in with the uh, cut corner to the top right. So if you if you pull in the tray out from the bottom, then just make sure the cut corner goes into the top right of the tray and then just slide it back in. So once I did that, it asked me to restart the phone. So I restarted the phone and I went through the setup. I didn't have any issues from an accessibility standpoint. It all worked pretty good. Uh, the fingerprint sensor setup went really well. Um, only thing I really had an issue with is for whatever reason, it wouldn't detect when I connected my Pixel 5a to it using the cable. I used the cable that came in the box and I installed Smart Switch on my um, Pixel 5a and I couldn't get them to detect each other. So I had to do it. I still use the Smart Switch app. I just did it wirelessly. So I connected them wirelessly and just did the transfer that way. 
I don't think uh, it, it made a difference. It, it might have just taken a little bit longer. But that was one one issue, slight issue I had. I mean, I prefer the way Google does it where you just connect the cable and on your other phone, you basically just um, unlock your phone with your fingerprint and then it'll just sign you in automatically. Um, that being said, it did sign me in to my Google account automatically. And then when I went to log into my Samsung account, I just did sign in with Google, which I was already signed in. So it just asked me for the verification code that it sent to my other Samsung device, my tablet. So um, as far as I, like having to put in passwords, I didn't have to put any, any passwords in, except for, of course, my Wi-Fi password. And then I just, because of the two-factor authentication, I had to put in that code. And, uh, you know, other than that, it, it, it went pretty flawless. Um, I got it set up and running now. Um, obviously, I haven't used it much, but just wanted to confirm that from an accessibility standpoint, you know, the setup was pretty flawless, pretty standard for what you can expect from a phone running Android 12. All right. So thank you for listening. We talked a little bit about this phone uh, after the Samsung event unpacked or whatever they called it. Uh earlier in the month or yeah it would have been earlier this month uh is anyone interested in the s22 ultra anyone gonna get one not at the moment so i saw the phone at the store uh last week my wife and i were out there and um got some real nice guys at AT at&t and I actually like the phone, you know, it has that boxy feel of a Sony phone and all of that. Um, however, I think the one thing that I didn't like about it is the S Pen at the bottom there. I wish that they had not uh, put that S Pen in there, but yes, this is just a personal preference and someone might find this as a very nice feature. You know, I'm just kind of thinking if I sit my phone down on this spot, I probably might pop that thing on, or if you know, I have it in my pocket, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't. Uh, I'm kind of having a little bit of a mixed feeling about uh, the location of that S Pen and how it is uh, implemented. You know, feel wise, how did it compare to your Fisher Price? So when this knucklehead talks about the Fisher Price, he's talking about my gorgeous uh, Pixel. Now, frankly, the, these two phones are absolutely the same in every way, except that the Samsung one is a little bit fatter. Um, the uh, Pixel 6 Pro uh, looks absolutely stunning in the sense that it's a thinner device. So if you like a thinner device, uh, this is the one to get. I like big phones. I don't care how big or heavy they are. I, I think for me, all it boils down to is the build of the phone and this Samsung one is just as beautifully crafted as the Pixel 6 Pro is. So if you're getting this phone, it's not something to you know be grateful about it. I mean, uh, they have up to one TB, and I hope that Google uh, emulate this in their next coming uh, Pixel 7 series. Excellent. Thanks, Warren. Yeah, you don't have to regret getting the Samsung S20 like you might have to regret getting the Fisher Price. So I looked at the S22 Ultra, and after having the Note series previously, I actually don't really notice have the S Pen's implementation being really too obstructive. It does take a minute to get used to it being there, but I think that comes basically with time. Like you put your hand on it. If your fingers aren't reaching for the S Pen on a regular basis, it is very easy to just forget it even exists. So I think in that regard, having the S Pen option in the Ultra really is kind of a benefit because there's obviously tons of people who love the S Pen and it's one of those added bonuses that I think were really lacking when they launched the um, Fold series, given the fact that there's more than enough space in the Fold series to have the S Pen, and the Pen is more beneficial with the large screen, 
I think it was one of those things that really was lacking in this um, Z series. So I'm kind of glad to see it has been implemented in the main S series of phones and kind of starting to see that merge between the Note series, the S series. I think that pen just comes as an added bonus. And I like what you did there when talking about the differences that you didn't notice. Like a little E before the I. Uh, I thought that was a wonderful plan. So, uh, yeah, that's right. And, and, and as someone who wants to reach for their pen on a regular basis, it certainly needs to be accessible, I think. so. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. having it easy to access in built into your phone, I find that more efficient than having to go and dig it out of a third-party case and then use make use of it so having it there to me is just that added bonus added speed basically yeah definitely how big is the phone i mean can you fit it in your pocket or is it too big it all depends on your pockets it isn't necessarily a very big phone, uh, you know, per se. It's just like the Pixel 6 Pro. Uh, the Pixel is 6.7 inches, and I think the uh, S22 Ultra is 6.8. So it's not it's not that big. Um, it's For me, I, I, maybe because I like big phones, it's just a perfect size for me. So um, maybe for a lady, it may be a little bit too big, but you could just drop the thing in a purse or something. <laughs> But it's not egregious. It's not a tablet or anything. It's not that no, big. No, 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 it's not. I mean, it's just a regular phone, just like any other phone out there. Uh, and it's hard to even tell that it is big. It's just a nice <laughs> phone. Yeah. And as Warren said, uh, the uh, the only difference between the Google 6 Pro and the Samsung S22 is that one company knows how to make phones and one doesn't. Thanks for listening to another clip from the Blind Android Users channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you're notified of every new material that we upload. Thanks again for listening to the Blind Android Users channel.